I've come here to the Saracens training ground to meet a man who's come back from France to tear it up in the Gallagher Premiership. Well, that's the plan, hopefully, to tear it up. He also happens to be a bit of a bike nerd like me. David Strettle, how are you? Very good, thank you. Welcome back to the UK. Thank you very much. What is it you love so much about motorbiking? Um, my dad used to build them for a hobby when I was younger, and um, I think I've always been into it since then. I just think they're cool things. Do you like to race around on them, or are you kind of a cruiser? I used to when I was younger, but I think I'm got two kids now, so I think I'm a bit more sensible. So no, I, I prefer the ones you can cruise around on now. Well, you might have noticed that I know a man who knows a man and his dog has lent us a couple of bikes for the day. So should we pop down the pub for a non-alcoholic beverage? I think we should. Beautiful. Let's jack it up. Let's do it. Have you ever come to a pub before and sat on the same side as the only other person you're <laughs> Never. with? Never. It's definitely a first for me. This. It's weird, isn't it? It's odd. <laughs> but that's showbiz. It's the and movie industry. Yeah, and if we were going to sit anywhere, we wouldn't sit facing a barbed hedge. wire and hedges, would we? <laughs> We'd sewer. face a nice pub. Right, you went to Claremont, massive club. You can see why you'd go, except you were at Sarries, another massive club, and things were going great, so why'd you leave? I'd been in the Premiership 10 years and really enjoyed myself, but you can't play rugby forever and to have the opportunity to go over to France and to play for such a big team with the Stade Marcel Michelin, you know, week in, week out. I just, it was an opportunity I thought I might end up regretting when I finished my career if I didn't do it. So why have you come back? Well, um, for me, it was a case of Mark McCall rang me up before Christmas and asking would I, would I come back? And um, I'd, like I said, I had an amazing three years in France and to be able to come back and finish my career off in England. It, I just felt like it was, uh, yeah, I felt very lucky to as well do so. So you're 35, you're still in good nick, you feel great. Have you given any thought at all to the World Cup next year? I mean, of course, like people mention it to you and you think, well, you know, it would be an amazing thing to do. Mm. Um, I was lucky I missed out on 2007 World Cup. I broke my foot two days before we went. And that's always stuck with me in my career thinking, you know, I've not played in the World Cup. So yeah, if I got the opportunity to do that, that would be amazing. But it all starts with what you do at your club. So it all starts at Saracens, it all starts at your club, and for you it all starts again this afternoon, because you've got to go and train, haven't you? I do indeed. I haven't, but you have. Should we get back on the hogs and get you back? Should, buddy. Let's do it. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> 